Good morning, everyone. My name is Justin Smith. I am a business opportunity specialist within the SBA. Uh, I met this year's awardee about a year ago. Uh, her name buried in a spreadsheet with over 100 other applicants of SBA's emerging small year program. Eventually, as I made my way through the list, spoke with her, I could hear the excitement, passion, and honesty about her business. Ask questions to understand the history of her business, the journey, where she wanted to go, and the future of her business as well. She's a veterinarian, so I asked, what are some of the pros and cons of your practice? She said, on one hand, you get bitten a lot, and on the other hand, you get bitten a little. <laughs> now, seriously though, what I heard on the phone that day was, was the telltale signs of what many entrepreneurs uh, need is additional business skills uh, to grow and sustain their vision. Being SBA's uh, Small Business Person of the Year is a tremendous accomplishment. The criteria for being nominated it requires many, many exemplary characteristics. Here are some of those. You must show staying power. A sustained history as an established business, including expansion, addition of territories, or growth of square footage occupation. You must show growth in the number of employees. You must show the increase in sales, net profit, and net worth. You must display the response to adversity, problems facing in everyday business, tenacity, and the ability to actually solve them. And lastly, you must make contributions to your community. However, it's not just where about where you came from, how fast your company grows, how much revenue you make, or how many employees you have. Those are all important, important attributes, but it's about being a positive influence in your community. Exploring the creativity, having a vision, being an innovator in your industry, and how you impact the lives of the people around you. So this year's awardee not only met all the criteria, but passed a strenuous judging process. Let me tell you a little bit more about the 2022 awardee. Dr. Q, as she is known, has been in the field of veterinary medicine for more than 20 years. And she has a keen interest in plant-based nutrition, nutrition, and a healthy lifestyle choices for even longer. Working alongside one other veterinarian and seven other staff, Dr. Q has owned and operated Aspen Park Veterinary Hospital since 2017. She's a compassionate veterinarian, veterinarian who combines traditional and holistic veterinary medicine, including acupuncture, the science of animal behavior, to help horses, dogs, cats, and even koi fish. This approach has allowed Dr. Q to adopt two out-of-the-box uh, practices for difficult medical cases using both traditional Chinese medicine approaches as well as Western medicine. Not only is she a certified veterinary acupuncturist with training in natural medicine, she's also one of uh, she's the 21st person in the world uh, to achieve the certified aquatic veterinarian designation. That means she also does surgery on fish. <laughs> so the practice uh, over the years, she's dramatically increased her revenue, but her success did not come without challenges. She faced the struggle of being a single mom with two young girls taking over a business with no experience in actually managing a business or a staff of this size. There was additional obstacles she had to overcome and her literally having no idea of this business's worth or access to past financials or taxes, even though it had been in business for over 50 years. And of course, the challenge of staying open, maintaining staff, and growing during uncertainty times in 2020. To that end, the business received the SBA disaster assistance, also maintained payroll through the worst part of the pandemic, and as mentioned, Dr. Q was also accepted to, accepted into and graduated uh, as a SBA Emerging Leader program. She's also a pillar of her community. She operates a vibrant nonprofit called the Rescue Ranch. Not only does it provide rescue animals, uh, but it provides free education for adults and children to the local community for the safety and care uh, around large animals. The Rescue Ranch is a positive reinforcement animal sanctuary. It's providing education animal rescue long since before the purchase of Aspen Park. Dr. Q has consistently volunteered for her children's schools throughout elementary, middle, and now high school, whether on, uh, even on PTA, whether as uh, president. She's also with the Wellness Council, assisting with the drama department. She's consistently contributing to her local schools. She gives free lectures to the community on different animal related topics. And she's also the, uh, does holiday talks on what to know about getting your pets for Christmas. So if you have any questions about what you need to get your pets for any holidays, you got one coming up, I think we need to expand all those holidays. So Dr. Q has also been a sought after speaker on multiple different topics, as I mentioned. She routinely offers insights into improving health and behavior for both humans and animals. Based on her challenges and achievements, it's clear why she was nominated and selected as Small Business Person of the Year. 
So without further ado, I give you this year's Colorado Small Business Person of the Year. Introduction. I'm like kind of tired of listening about me. <laughs> so, sorry, but yes, I do a lot of crazy things and um, never certainly expected to be in this position, that's for sure. I kind of felt like little old me and Conifer, oh my gosh, you know, how did that even happen? You know, um, but it's definitely a lot of hard work, a lot of perseverance, a lot of courage, uh, charging forward, like it was mentioned earlier, even in the face of a lot of unknowns trying to gather from uh, respectable people around me to make sure that I'm trying to get reassurances that I'm making good decisions, which yeah, I think as a business owner, you're kind of always questioning that, you know, if you're moving in the right direction. And so I'm super grateful to have a lot of um, really supportive people around me um, that work for me and with me to help manage the business and the numbers and the marketing and all the things that go into it. So I, of course, could not do any of this by myself. So it's not just, I. Uh, my team in the hospital that I'm so grateful for for helping me just take care of the patients and pets every day, but then also the ancillary uh, advisors uh, that I have around me that help me make sure that I'm steering my ship in the right direction and uh, keep it going the way we want it to go. And so I'm also grateful to my girls who help uh, me with the uh, household things so that they can I have time to actually, after work, uh, do more work. <laughs> I guess that's kind of, I think, how it goes for all of us uh, that have a business. So I'm very humbled and grateful and overwhelmed um, by all of this. But uh, thank you so much, um, Francis and Justin and Stephen, for all your help and support and for um, helping me to win this award. And I'm, I'm very grateful. Thank you.